May they forever be remembered. Long live the Filipino soldier. Mabuhay, mabuhay. Ang Pilipinas ang unang bansa sa Asia. Ah, because the Filipinos were one of the very first soldiers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who, yeah, who were dispatched. So I know. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back with another interesting history video I know you are going to love to watch. This video is so amazing and it's so interesting. So it might interest you to sit back, relax and watch it to the end. In today's video, I'm going to be reacting on this particular video, Filipinos who sacrificed their lives for Korea. Like I said, it's going to be an interesting history video. So watch it to the end. So guys, I'm not going to be wasting your time on this video. Let's just dive into it. Watch it together and react to it as usual okay hey guys jessica here today is june 6th which is Hyunjin or memorial day of korea so to commemorate that day me and sylvia came to the Jeonjing kinyeomgwan here in yongsan the reason why i'm here is to show you guys like a brief history or a tour of this um, museum or exhibit as one of the most uh, important or major events in Korea was the Korean War and during that Korean War there's so many soldiers who sacrificed themselves to fight for the country and among them there were UN soldiers and a part of them was Filipino soldiers so we also wanted to check out that portion in this museum to uh, share with you guys so let's go ahead So this is the entrance to the museum, so it's wow. very, very spacious. So you can find like all the information on the Korean history in this museum, specifically about the Korean War. In Korean history, as you guys might know, we were colonized by Japan. Japan is the only country that has colonized us. That's why that 35 years in the Korean history, many people pick that as the most traumatic yeah. moment because that was the only time the whole flow of our history and culture ceased. And then right after we earned independence from Japan through the sacrifice of all the other heroes, the Korean War happened. That is also the time when the UN troop of soldiers were also dispatched to Korea to help the Korean War. For South Korea specifically, there were like a list of countries and among them was the Filipinos. That's why there's a really, really famous battle of Yultong where like very few number of Filipinos had to fight like a bunch of Chinese soldiers. So I think this is the UN. It extends all the... Yogi. Whoa. Oh. May they forever be remembered. Long live the Filipino soldier. Mabuhay, mabuhay. Ang Pilipinas ang unang bansa sa Ah, because the Filipinos were one of the very first soldiers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who, yeah, who were dispatched. So I know this part of history because I already made a video on it more specifically where I went to the Philippine War Memorial site in Ilsan. I'm thankful that the Korean government is being grateful and expressing their thanks to everyone who shed blood for our country. 여기 나오네. 율동. 진짜 이런 전쟁에 대해 볼때 항상 생각하는 거는 진짜 우리가 저때 태어났으면 어땠을까? 맞아, 맞아, 맞아. 지금은 상상도 내가 갑자기 딴 나라 나 이름 알지도 못하는 나라에 불려가지고 맞아. 난 더운 나라 국가인데 갑자기 추운데 가가지고 <웃음> 다른 사람들 위해 막 희생하고 맞아. 이게 진짜. So here you can see the overall history on how the Korean War happened. It began not so long after the Pearl Harbor. 1953, the truce began until now. Yeah, so Korea is actually still on truce formally, right? The overall, the military force, they were highly behind. These are the murals of the people, refugees. Yeah, 
발전할 수 있었던 기적을 말합니다. So if you think about it, this whole Korean War is not so far away. Mm-hmm. Like our, just our grandparents? Yeah, grandparents. Generation, yeah. Because my grandma, yeah. my mom's side grandma, yeah. her younger brother mm-hmm. passed away from the war. During Seriously, the war? yeah. Also, I can notice that my grandma uses a lot of Japanese words. Mm. Oh, same. Mm. Same, same. Oh. My grandma is just so close to me. Right. But then I can feel how different her time and my time was. Right. And also my grandfather is a war orphan. Mm-hmm. That's why I think we really think of like history education very, very importantly mm-hmm. because it's very not far from us. Mm, true. Even if we did not experience yeah. it. We kind of get constantly reminded mm-hmm. of the, the pain mm-hmm. and the suffering mm-hmm. and then the sacrifice. For the Filipinos, I also have a few friends mm-hmm. of mine in the Philippines whose like, mom passed away during the Japanese mm-hmm. patient oh. era in the Philippines. There are comfort women in the Philippines too. Mm-hmm. Like it's really interesting. Like, Moi, Jessica, me, like always like, hanging out in Han River, like everything looks peaceful. but. Behind that piece, there were so many things mm-hmm. we went through. Right, right, right. Mac Arthur IG. Mm. For some people, he's a hero. For yeah. some people, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For Koreans, how for Koreans, yeah. he's a he's a hero. For many Filipinos, it's also he's yeah. also perceived as a hero, but but it's controversial. It's controversial. For those who know history, like very so much in detail. Deeply. Yeah, it's he's it's not a hero. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but. But there's always the common hero, though, in every country. Mm-hmm. Like, he yeah. is for sure a hero. Yeah, like, yeah, for yeah. the Philippines, Jose Rizal, he was actually, um, during the Spanish colonization era, well, he was from a very well-educated family. Mm-hmm. So he ought to speak in Spanish. And the he, one peso he done in Yeah. Um. And then he wrote a book. He wrote, like, this book called No Limi mm-hmm. Tangere. Don't Touch Me Not. It, it's a novel. Mm. I read it. Mm. He wrote several books, only mm. and also El Filipusterismo. Mm. It's all about, it shows like the role of Spanish people in the Philippines. Each character really represents something, ah. like the chief, mm. like the hardworking one. Mm. It's an amazing book. Wow. Even if you don't know the Philippine history, mm-hmm. Oh, it's an amazing okay. book because you're learning Tagalog now. Maybe yeah. you should read the. It's in Tagalog yeah. entirely. Oh, one mm. born in Spanish, uh-huh. but then it was translated mm-hmm. to Tagalog. Mm-hmm. But there's also an English one. But then mm. there is simplified Tagalog book of that. Mm-hmm. But I read it in English. So in our generation, mm-hmm. you know, we're very very lucky yeah. because like we were born in the era where Korea is getting highly developed and getting the global interest. Yes, like yes, Korea boom. Yeah. So True. for my dad, actually, this is very 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 shocking. Yeah. Because until when he was my age, mm-hmm. nobody knew Korea. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Because of how fast Korea like developed yeah. and how big the interest towards mm-hmm. Korea is from yeah. other countries. Mm-hmm. Sometimes like that people, people forget about for, it. Yeah, people forget about the or history. people are not so interested yeah. in the history yeah. aspect. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's it's, really true. It's more like what is on the surface, which yeah. is like the like K pop, mm-hmm. drama. Which is still good because the reason why K pop was a success, the reason yeah. why Korean drama is a success is because of this whole Korean and history. The boom, yeah. You know, I believe yeah. like those K-pop artists and those K-media mm-hmm. that everyone sees, it's kind of like a microcosm mm-hmm. of the whole Korean history. Like mm-hmm. it really shows the whole Korean personality. Mm-hmm. That's why if you want to know deeper, mm-hmm. you know, the, the macro of that, mm-hmm. it's the Korean history. Mm-hmm. And then it, everything will, yeah, will resonate with you even more. Yeah. I really recommend you guys to come here yeah. because it's yeah. 너무 잘해 놨어. family just passed by us, mm-hmm. the parents were telling the kids, see, maybe in this video you can see our grandpa. That's how, like, I think our generation is yeah. taught like that. Yeah. We're educated so, yeah. like, it's relatable. Yeah. 
Like we can like feel it. Alright guys, so that was the end of our tour. And also yeah. this coming June 12th, mm -hmm. yeah. it's the Philippine Independence Day. Wow. So it's like a really good coincidence. Mm -hmm. That's another day to commemorate. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys really had some lesson yeah. from what we are saying, what we are watching mm -hmm. and what we just looked around. Yeah. Let's always be thankful for what we've got today and let's yeah. always appreciate the sacrifice of our elder countrymen. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye. <laughs> this is such an amazing history. There are a lot of people that have fought for us to be where we are today and we shouldn't forget about the history. This video is so amazing to watch. Guys, I'm going to be stopping here for today. Let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section. See you all on my next one. Bye.